Hi, right, this is Uncle, and uh, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use map tools. We're going to go over really quickly what you, where you can get them, how you use them, uh, how you use them to draw markers and lines on your map, how you use them to get grid references and uh, compass bearings and that sort of thing off your map. First thing we need to know is uh, where they are. Normally, they show up in your lower right portion here in your gear menu, your item menu. I don't have them, so I'm going to run over the crate and pull some out. There they are on the list, and now they've shown up in my gear menu. So I'm going to get out of the way of everybody trying to jump in here at the ammo crate and uh, bring up my map. Now normally on your map, zoom out and you'll find them located over on the left hand side over where the ST HUD markers go. A lot of times people get uh, frustrated with the map tools because if you're using ST HUD because it's located over here or even no matter where it is every now and then it seems to bug out with the ST HUD and you get parts of this that are over top of your HUD. If that's the case just go back to your map grab your map tool move it around and it'll be out of your HUD again just real quick fix. Anywho, let's say, uh, let's look at the map tool really quickly. I've got a compass and I've got a bunch of indicators that I can use to draw lines and a bunch of scales that I can use to figure out distances and grid references. Um, how this works is that you center it, the map tool in something and spin around the outer part to read off bearings. Um, let's say I want to get the bearing from the side mission to the main mission. The first thing I need to do is center my map tool on the side mission, which I could do manually. Um, or I could do much more accurately just by pressing the H button, holding down H and left clicking on the side mission. Boom! Puts the home of the map tool at that spot. Now to orientate it towards the, the main, I could shift and drag it over there. If I needed to be really, really, really precise, I could just scroll in and let's say I want to go right to the radio tower. Put my cursor there, press and hold J, and then left click on the radio tower. It's going to orientate the tool exactly that point. I know from the side mission marker to the radio tower would be exactly, let's say, 62 degrees. Okay, or 1100 mils or so. Now, we know how to use the map tool to get direction bearing and that sort of thing. Let's say, now I want to draw a line on the map. Okay, one way we can draw a line, press the left square bracket, hold it down, left click with the mouse and drag around. Now I'm drawing a line. Release the left mouse button, release the left square bracket. I've drawn a free form line on the map. Left click on it. It's now highlighted and I can press the backslash key, which is right beside the square brackets. That deletes it. But I want to draw a straight line between two points. In this case, from the side mission to the radio tower. Then what I'm going to do is get them both on my map press and hold the left square bracket and left click on the side mission. It's going to start my line. It gives me a dot. Release the left square bracket, move my cursor over to the radio tower, press and hold the right square bracket, which is the complete line key, and then left click. I've got a line between the two points. I release the left square bracket. That's how we can draw straight lines. Now, let's say that for some reason I want to draw a few different lines on my map. I need to color code them so that I've got uh, an indication of and I can keep sort of a key of what lines for what. Let's hold down the left square bracket and click to start a line here. And I'm going to, without moving anything, left click again. I'm going to do this slowly because as I cycle through different colors I can create my line on. If I did it quick, 
it would be like a double click on the map and I would have created a map marker. Now I'm still in map tools mode so I'm going to press the right square bracket or press enter first and I press the right square bracket and complete my line so that I can delete now both markers. Delete map marker, select that, backslash key, delete my line. Anywho, now you can see how I can create lines of different colors. Let's say I've got, maybe I've drawn a line between myself and an object. Let's say I need to know the distance between side mission here and the MHQ. First thing I'm going to do is draw a line between the two. Next thing I'm going to do is bring the map tool over. Center the home on the map on the side mission. Point it towards the MHQ. Now I'm going to bring my scale over. The scale for this map is the 1 to 50,000. 1 to 50,000 units on that's this grid here. So then I just zoom in, bring in my scale, bring it up to here, and I can read off 100 meters, 200, 400, 500, let's say 570 meters would be my distance. Now to use grids, get my map tool pointed straight up again. Now let's say I want to find out exactly where the side mission is on a grid. When I'm in this part of the, I can you read eastings and then northings. Like we know how to read grids. Um, this four-digit grid that the side mission is in is zero one zero three. Zero one's the easting. Zero three is the northing. Um, eastings go up. That's why, and towards the east. That's why it's called an easting. Zero one two three towards the east, and towards north would be zero three zero four zero five goes towards the north. Put my one fifty thousand grid from my map tools on, and I can further subdivide this grid. Uh, you'll notice that the numbers go backwards to the direction the actual numbers in the grid go because this is grid 01, 02 would be over to the right and my numbers are going opposite. This is because how, in order to read a number off of the or find a marker and find its grid reference we don't just pop it down on the grid like this and count over and eyeball it. We would actually move the map tool over to get the easting, put the 10 marker on where you're looking at and then read over. So this is pretty much we could say uh, 9. We further subdivide it and and go to another number in between the 9 here but we're just going to say 9 for our purposes here. Um, that means that it would be the easting would be 0, 1, 9 and to get the northing place the 10 marker again for the northing on here look up on our scale, we'll go with 6. So our northing would be 0, 3, 6. There's a bunch of different ways to use map tools. Good luck!